the highest time for the Grizzlies as they came through the tunnel to Rooley Rock, all set to take the stage in front of their loyal fans. The Miami Mississippi River curving its path through Memphis, Tennessee. Here we're coming to you from tonight. Welcome, everyone. And checking out Minnesota's opening up. The backboard guards are Russell and Edward. Miles Bridges is out there with four up in his hand. That's Bell in the East Bank. And for Memphis, the outfit with John Moran. That's Young. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Pass to Bell. Comes down low by Valanciunas. Well, it was the Memphis Grizzlies in the last game who lost to the Spurs. And they have to stop. In the game. Some people will say Doncic. Some will say Trey Young. Some might even say John Brown. Now, here is Russell. Al Bell. Towns, the best of it. And Jen Shot and Towns plays it in. Boy, how about the anticipation for Carl Anthony Towns? Beats everyone to the spot and goes right back up with it. On the weak lead, some nice passing there by Memphis. Morant against Bridges. It's deflected. And the impact Bridges makes on the defensive end. Showing. Uh, there's no quit in this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Here's Morant. Anthony Edwards making his last shot. Here's Lee. Since that one for the coach. Lee's got a seven bucket tonight. How many good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Russell kicks to Edwards. Passes it to Bill. Here's Russell. It's good for long range. Well, it's key that you've got to maintain concentration throughout the game. And D'Angelo Russell, nice job in the catch and shoot. Bridges with the steal. Russell against Morant. Russell passes to Towns. Out to Russell. Fires the three. And again, Minnesota with a triple. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. This is a delete. Brian has his delete. Back to Morant. Over Russell. And it's Morant. And Tarman is his delete. And with the short area of quickness and, and vertical, Morant can get a good look from mid range anytime. He wants. Now here's Towns. Scoring wise, he's definitely making his mark right now. He's going to go through that 19 points a game. Good way to start this game. If you want to get him rolling as early as possible, he's a good guy. If he gets hot, he can carry your offense for all the stretches. Here's Lee. Inside. That's in. He's got 40 for 3. Looking sharp. Talk about hitting the ground running four for five to start. And so it's also with it. Bring it up for Minnesota. They lead by four. And there's the pass to Edwards. Going inside. And the shot goes in. And once Edwards gets a step on you, it's likely going to be a bucket or a foul. And do we know that Anthony Edwards is getting numerous head turning pros for the last two years? That's right. One of the most gambling players in the league. On some media, off the he said he saw himself as a football player. But this guy's got big time personality. Now, here is Russell. He's got six. And Bridges, he won the dish. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Back to Morant. They kick out the long. Shoots over Bridges. And I'm going to pass it to him. Timberwolves leading by six. 
has the times. Over Valens, he is. He is times missing. Well, that's a long defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. It's hard in all over us. Minnesota's gone 2 or 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Bridges, Tyler's trying to get open. Bridges shot is good. Not only is that true, Bridges also dependable at knowing how to get done. It's a. Matt, the Marines. Rockets hits. Additional lead. Bumpers needs to get off the shot here. Here's Colin Schumas. He can't hit that shot. Timberwolves going the other way with it. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Give them some credit. Well, I'll tell you this, Mike. Bobby Portman on a very off night defensively, and you take advantage. Simple as that. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Gentlemen, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Clark in for Thomas Young. The Timberwolves also with the sub. Leads checked in. A tremendous over one block that we hope to see again. Free send back. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. They could use a big shot here to get those offense going. So we have to possessions. Right now, they need the basket. A shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Pass to Bell. Now, here's Reed. He's guarded closely. Give it up on that one as it misses. The Grizzlies trail by eight. And Hall of Famer David Alder scored with four sprints. David? Thanks, Kelly. He's hoping that doing a good job defending the perimeter would get everything else going. He said, if we can get them off their spots and make them do things they're not used to, we'll have a very good chance. Let's see if they can execute that strategy, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Obviously, the three ball is a big concern for AD. And so here's Max. Following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Back to the Rams. This is the deep three point attempt. Timberwolves leading by 10. To the paint. Bridges finds it. And he converts the lead. Edwards got a focus. And they're passing the ball very briskly here. Passes the lead. Against Bridges. On right side to the inside. He for his fourth field goal of the game. Well, this is a fast coming out of the gate. Four out of five from the field. He's got six. Kicks to Bridges to the middle. Here's three. Here's the one in the we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkle. Here's one. This is the most they've led by 13 points. For number two, around three minutes gone by. Down low. Here's Towns. It's rebounded by Memphis. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Miles Bridges is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then there's Alec Brooks, then it's White, and it's Edwards in at the two. Now here's White, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Brooks' shot is good. Now Brooks is a lethal three-point threat. This guy has such an effortless shooting stroke. Here's Young, and another miss by Memphis. And so it's Towns with it, and brings it up for the Timberwolves. Well, they have 6-0 in this quarter. 
White, wide open, he pops. And another three for Minnesota. An assist like that. Uh, terrific ball move. Long chase finds me. Young and shoot. He's against Bridges. And shoot again. And it's laid up and in the middle of Young's got his second button. The prototypical, I will do every piece of dirty work you have. Bad Young doing a nice job. Taking off the window and shooting. Oh, okay. well, he's such a good athlete for a summer. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Lee. He'll take these up for the division. Five for six in the game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. White against Lee. Green shot on the way. Al Junis grabs the ball. Al Junis has got four rebounds in this game. Crawford dishes to Lee. Young passes to Shelton. He kicks to Lee. It's Crawford on the way. Just four to shoot. Al Junis. Rebound, Minnesota. Towns has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Bridges dishes to White. Over here. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Thaddeus Young. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Minnesota. Guys, they are out in from beyond right now. They don't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. As something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Minnesota making a switch. Russell's checked in. Here's Lukic. Two corners off the mark. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged the bullet there. Good work there as it goes. Yeah, but you can't let Edwards get in the lane. Outstanding at using that first of speed. Here's Junis. Anthony Edwards making his last shot. Shelton, right covering. Shelton gets it to Lee. And he's fast. One to the rack, perfectly for the win. Lee's got 12 points in the game. Well, for Memphis, their last game lost to the Spurs in San Antonio. Feeds it to Towns. Over Valanciunas. No good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. And if you had to point to one problem in that game, it was their rebounding. Flat out terrible. Well, the numbers back up that assertion, no doubt about it. And sometimes it's about, hey, we've got to get on the glass and make sure they're feeling us all night long. They didn't do that. And here are the Grizzlies now, following the three by Minnesota. Boy, now you have to think about pulling him. Three fouls already in his hands, the fourth will be in his hands. Tillman, he's checked in now for the Timberwolves. Go. Go. And a change for the Timberwolves. Bell's checked in. Here's Lee. He's coming off a 40-point game against the Spurs in San Antonio. Just five on the clock. Memphis moving that ball around. Here's Shelton. They get it back. No good from Dallin Junis. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the shot. Bell's shot is good. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Hey, hey, right here. Oh. Here's Hukic. Oh, and a good shot. That's going to be a good one. That was it. So, then you get the best. So, you know, if you're to getting the block there, you, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. And Memphis making a change here. Oturu's checked in. Outside, Russell. 11 feet away. Another shot. And 
Jones with the bucket. Towns has got eight. Come on now, this guy is so tough to contain. Carl Anthony Towns, such touch inside. A challenging stretch here for Memphis. And Towns does so many things well on the floor, Doris, but you can't forget about his rebound. Right, he's got rebounding totals every night. You can pencil him in for double digits every night on the backboards. This guy can anchor your team's rebounding. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Odom. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mr. Archer, against the Spurs was all business. He scored 40 points and played tremendous defense as well, really causing havoc on both ends of the floor. The numbers in that game make me interested to see what can do that. David and stretches, he was absolutely down. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Here's Towns following the score by Memphis. Trains the three-pointer. He's got seven. And he with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Here's Tillman, defended by Bridges. Rebounded by Bell. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Edwards can't hit. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. The pass to Shelton. Russell against Lee. Here's Tillman. Bridges with the board. Edwards looking it over. Outside, Russell. Let's go. And Towns the bucket on the assist by Russell. Russell's got three assists in the game. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for Minnesota. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance. <laughs> and with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And what can you say? Town's an impressive effort here. And those extra chances mean so much. And he has shaped the game with the way he's been pulling down those offensive boards. Really putting his handprint on this game. You love the hustle, you love the work ethic he has had on display. They've got John Morant. When it's bad, she makes his own game of life. And it's Mr. Clutch. And that's the group for Taylor Jenkins. As we begin the second half. There's the lob to Bridges. Burns down the alley and slam. The anticipation from this crafty wingman. Bridges enjoys taking chances and going for the alley. -oop. Morant, there's just a lead. To the paint. And the next good off the ball. He's got 14. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Here's Russell. Softly drops in the floor. Any point guard in the NBA, particularly one who is not a huge sized guy, has got to have the floater in his disposal. Go ahead, D'Angelo. Here's Lee. Oh, well, there. Towns with the defensive effort. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Bridges misses. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But they were there. And competition is a the root of all sports. Certainly sometimes how things get chipped as a player. Greg, how do you handle that aspect when emotions and physicality get going? I mean, you're always taught to control your emotions. But easier said than done. And in reality, sometimes you have to man up. You have to let it be known that you're not going to accept things. And at the same time, you got to be smart. So the goal is to beat the other team, not literally. Russell kicks to Edwards. 
Towns against Valanciunas. Back to Edwards. And victory the foul. It will go on Lee. So that will be a second foul of the game. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Clark's checked in. Outside Edwards. And hit that one. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Jukic defended by Bell. To the inside. Lee. And it's blocked. And they get it back. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing at all. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Clark, the pass to Lee. And stolen by Russell. Pass to Edwards. Back to Russell. Downs down low, guarded by Valanciunas. Edwards against Clark. Edwards can't hit. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Defensive rebound, Valanciunas. Valanciunas has the instincts, the size, and the smarts to go ahead and take advantage of those missed shots and create them into points. Russell finds Edwards. To the middle, here's Bridges. It's in, he's a very efficient. Five for six in the game. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Lee dishes to Clark. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. And Towns gets it to go. Towns has got 14. Coming off a big game, his confidence will be higher. Your coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Valanciunas passes to Lee, and that one good. 16 points for Mr. Clutch. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted, and Valanciunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. Here's Towns. Stunt by Towns. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Time out called the Grizzlies. You look at Towns, he's really been playing well. Boy, he's been relentless, and to this point, they haven't had an easy game on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. Brooks comes in for Miles Bridges, and it's wide in for Edwards. Inside. And it's sent back by Russell. Well, that's the energy and effort that D'Angelo Russell brings on the defensive end. This guy has got the ability to be a factor there. See, this man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. Moran hits the lead. Outside Williams. Down low. No good from Clark. The Timberwolves have gone in 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here on the third. Crawford against Burks. He feeds it to Ben. And the call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Oh, yeah, please sim it. Timberwolves substitution. Forty-three seconds left to play in the third. Driving to the basket. And it's Morant with the rebound. Morant's got rebound number five here tonight. It's a nice passing there by Memphis. Shelton passes to Ochoo. And he gives it to Lee. 
He's going to be in our home for the opening. And that's now 18 points for Mr. Clutch. What a great shooting performance. This percentage is outstanding. Moran's against Russell. Two on the clock. And that one goes off. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. The scoring has been tremendous. And they are shooting lights out with fit. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our state farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to permit that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? He'll love the unselfish play. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So on the floor for Minnesota, we've got Matthews. Mark was his out there with Anthony Edwards. And there's Towns. That's four. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot, but right now this guy is picking. The Timberwolves shoot the ball really well in this game, 58%. And Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I, I would based on how I play, but if you grew up in this yard, this is just a good point. You have to adapt and adjust, and that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever have. In fact, I would argue they're better defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So the league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Minnesota. I thought we might see the defense adjust to slow the break, but that has not been the case. Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight is crashing the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. Bridges is checked in for the Timberwolves. McDaniels comes in for Brent Forbes. Harkless hits them both. The Grizzlies shooting at 46%, making some bucks. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. The shot's good. Well, defensively, to me, he's got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Pass to Bridges. Trying to find Towns. Gets a two. Well, when you see a Carl Anthony Towns who's engaged on the offensive end, he believes he can score from any spot on the floor. This is the lead. Passes it to Morant. Bounce pass Young. And he drives in from 12 feet out. Off the left rim and out. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Timberwolves. We're playing host to Toronto for the next one. That game marks the first time to win two-game homestand. Well, leaving no doubt on that one, the explosiveness of the cat. The pass to Lee. Morant outside. And it's Lee that's out of that first round. Morant's got five assists tonight. Oh, and look at how well he ran him in there. Really, he passed him open for that piece. There's Towns. The Grizzlies pull it in. Alan Jones has got nine rebounds in the game. Heading it down. You can. And it goes for the good <laughs> time and ten shots for him this game. And ten of their last twelve coming off assists. For Minnesota, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the book. Towns down low. Alan Junis is there. Two points. That one goes. Towns has got 22 points. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. And Alan Junis gets the lead. And Greg, you've been some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you played? John Stockton was always one of the most difficult 
but in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring all the was because I had to defend his ability to make people better, and, and that was always a challenge. But don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, a 6 eight, that was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all-time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been in the league draft position. That's his third person foul for his team foul. At the line for the Grizzlies. At the line for two. No good on the free throw. Wells, he's checked in for John Morant. And a change for the Timberwolves. Russell, he's checked in for Maurice Hartless. On the second free throw, good. Timberwolves leading by 23. To the inside. Edwards with the stop. Flying high. Anthony Edwards, ladies and gents, cleared for takeoff. Grizzlies have gotten it done so far from the field here in the fourth. Going six for seven. One shooters finds Lee. Shot clock at five. Here's Wells. And the foul will be against Thaddeus Young. Thaddeus Young. That'll be his second and foul of the game. And now, let's revisit team. that exceptional mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Tillman, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Hart comes in for Young. Timberwolves also changing it up. Reggie Miller goes in for Miles Bridges. And it's wide in for Edwards. Well, that's how you bring out the best in your teammates. Towns is a prolific scorer, but guess what? He'll find you if you're uh, Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting uh, uh, Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I think the players today are so much smarter, and they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game, but they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goal. Williams is checked in for Memphis. Alec Burks checked in for the Timberwolves. And it's Times missing. And the Grizzlies with possession here. And here is Williams. Burks pulls it in. Burks has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And there's the foul. It will go on Lee. That's his fourth, that's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth. And no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Get outside. Get outside. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Burks. Takes it inside. Here's Towns. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside. And that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Shoots from 14. Tillman's shot is off. The Timberwolves have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Been some solid looks for them. White for good. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And it's Lee that time on the assist from Wayne. 41 points for Mr. Clutch. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Inside Towns. Back to White. No shot that time. Not on target. Some solid defense from Clark. And here's Wells. The feed to Lee. And then at the goal. Lee's got 33 points. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Out to the right wing. Here's Towns. That shot, no good. And it's Memphis the other way. 
With the turnover this offseason came a lot of opportunity. Hey, Kevin, that's really what it's all about, right? The league's values of diversity and inclusion have been really pushed to the forefront. I think that's the reason why our game is so popular globally, because it is so inclusive. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Carl Anthony Towns. And the decision-making tonight has just been outstanding if the shot hasn't been there for him he's just kept the ball moving and that patience is how he's got his field goal percentage to almost 60 here tonight he silenced this crowd with an unreal display his ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special russell with it. outside edward Right side, Russell. Outside, Towns. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Towns has got 27. Yo, know, this is one of the better catch-and-shoot bigs in the NBA already. Towns doing everything these days. Lee gets to Valanciunas. Lee with the ball. Picked up by Edwards. remaining in the game. Two minutes. Young against Bell. Young, shot is good. Of execution couldn't have asked for a better shot. The Timberwolves shooting percentage 59%. The offense is running smooth. Pass to Bell. Edwards against Lee. And Russell gets it to go. Well, he's getting better at absorbing contact. Finishes like this prove Russell is a tough, dynamic competitor. Back to Morant. Lee outside. And Valanciunas kicks to Morant. Some nice pass in there by Memphis. He gets it in there. He has got 37 points for Mr. Clutch. Well, guys, this was never really a match. It was just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Timberwolves. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. I mean, they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And after dropping game one in this matchup, they managed to take the second of a three-game season series. No question, that's a morale boost. And as usual, great numbers and a dominant display for Carl Anthony Towns. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. Lee outside. Five on the clock. Bridges with the steal. Young against Russell. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. This one was over well before the final bus. The fans were waiting for something.